You are tuning in to Financial Fitness Northwest live on 1150 KKNW. We provide our listeners with information from business professionals to bring solutions to your daily life and local charities to provide you with opportunities to give back to your community as well. And today we're really excited to be talking with Nicole Heron, uh, Senior Manager of Resource Services at Treehouse. Nicole oversees the Warehouse, Little Wishes, and Holiday Magic programs. Her teams connect youth with foster care with the essential items they need to feel confident and successful at school. Treehouse also pays for extracurricular activities, school fees, driver's education, and summer camps, and provides tickets to enriching community events under her guidance. In conjunction with thousands of dedicated volunteers, the programs distribute more than $2 million in donated items and financial support throughout Washington each year. And we also have Ignacio... Garibay, who um, was previously in foster care and participated in one of Treehouse's educational service programs. Now, 23, he's a volunteer in the warehouse and recently joined AmeriCorps. So welcome, Nicole. Hi, it's nice to be here. We're so glad to have you. So can you um, talk to us a little bit about, you know, just what Treehouse is, what's the Mm -hmm. mission, what are you guys doing there for foster kids? Well, uh, Treehouse works uh, to give foster kids a childhood and a future, and we serve youth in foster care throughout the state of Washington. Okay. What kind of programs do you guys have and, um, you know, to serve those kids? What are you guys doing? Yeah, we've got uh, some multiple academic programs where we've got mentors and uh, academic uh, coaches in the schools working with students and caregivers and we also have multiple enrichment programs like the warehouse which is our free store and little wishes which helps pay for after school activities and school sports stuff like that that's awesome so um what age so what age is there a certain age that you guys work with or yeah we serve youth ages zero to 26 oh wow yeah, wow. yeah. So if they graduate uh, high school while in one of our academic programs, they can continue to uh, work with our um, enrichment programs and receive support. Through yeah. co- through college then. Mm-hmm. I think. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's awesome. Can you elaborate a little bit more on the academic programs and like what kind of support that provides to kids while they're in school? Absolutely. So our graduation success program works to help kids reach uh, high school graduation uh, right now in King County graduation rate for youth in foster care is less than 50 percent wow but for students enrolled in our graduation success program and receiving coaching and support from an education specialist they graduate at an average rate of about 30 points higher than that wow that's huge yeah that's Um, great that's great that's such a measurable thing so you guys can really see that the work that you're doing is paying off huh oh it's so important you know setting kids up for not just, you know, reaching high school graduation, but hopefully a lifetime of success. Yeah. Do you have any idea what the statistics are of how many kids that graduate high school then go on to college that are in foster care? You know, we're working on getting those metrics and uh-huh. we're hoping to have those available soon. Uh, folks can check out more information on our website about statistics. Okay. Which, treehouseforkids.org. Awesome. All right. Well, so you talked about some other programs you guys have. So, um, right now it's back to school, right? So that's out of your guys' through your warehouse. Yeah. Right. So mm-hmm. let's touch on that a little bit. Yeah, so back to school season is one of our busiest seasons in the warehouse. We have well over eight hundred kids come to shop for clothes, backpacks, school supplies, and just really get set up for success. Yep. Because you need school supplies in order to fit in and clothes that are trendy and comfortable in order mm-hmm. to feel good at school. Right. So do you guys provide everything from clothes to supplies? I mean, what kinds of things are you guys looking for in the warehouse? Well, we look for um, backpacks, backpacks for the little guys, you know, Mm -hmm. (laughs) like with Disney characters and stuff like that. And durable ones for the high schoolers for their big textbooks and clothes, everything from tops, long sleeve tops and jeans to raincoats and other, you know, comfortable clothes that they can wear to school. So <clears throat> I'm wondering, so do how do the kids get involved? I mean, do foster parents get linked up with you for support? Or how, how does that, how do you guys get involved with a foster family? 
That's a great question. We have a partnership with DSHS, and their social workers refer them to us so that students can um, shop or caregivers can shop on behalf of the little guys, and they can also get support from our Little Wishes program and connected with graduation success through their social worker. So is anyone that is a foster parent out there, do they have access to your programs and your support, or is there some sort of, I mean, obviously you can't help every everyone, right? How, how does that, is there, do they have to apply, or how does that work? Well, there's a couple ways that they can get connected with us. So if they have an open case in King County, their social worker is trained to refer them to us. But if they don't have a referral yet, they can also contact us and we'll get a hold of their social worker and make sure we get all the information we need so that they can shop. So you just have to be a foster care to qualify, basically. Yep. In foster care. Okay. Mm-hmm. Wow. wow. That's good. That is. That's so really, cool. really you do help pretty Any much anybody kids? that knows about you that reaches out to you can get some support. Yeah, that's our goal. Yeah. Wow. And so let's talk about you guys have some other programs besides um the warehouse, so little wishes, what you've touched on that, what mm-hmm. exactly is that, and um, you know, how does that help the foster kids? Yeah, little wishes is uh, a program where caregivers and students can reach out to us when they need help paying for things like after school care, or maybe a student wants to do football and they need to have an ASB card and some gear, they can reach out to us and little wishes will pay for that. Or if they need driver's ed, you know, help paying for that or help getting a license, we'll also help them. Um, one of the most common things is summer camp. Mm. Oh, well. Wow. Yeah, a lot. That's a normal childhood activity. Right. And our research has found that for students who participate in, you know, activities that their peers are doing, that they do better in school. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. So and then so you also have holiday magic. I'm assuming that's around Christmas time. Is that to provide gifts and stuff? It is. Yeah. Holiday magic. That's one of my favorites. So every year we send a major gift to about 5,000 kids throughout the state. Yep. Yep. In the month of December. So we've got a small team that get together and we start collecting requests from students on items that they'd like. And then we mail it to them so that they have it in time for the holidays. You said major. Yeah. What is that? <laughs> oh, like their big gift or I mean, what's the price limit on these gifts? Yeah, the price ra- range kind of varies because at different ages, a major gift could be different things. Sure. So for the little guys, it could be a tricycle. And for the bigger guys, it could be like a tablet or, you know, some sort wow. of music device, that type of thing. So we try and uh, update the list each year so that we remain kind of like in the know on what the kids are looking for. <laughs> the current hot new thing, right? <laughs> no, it's hard to keep up. Yeah. So where do, does that funding all come from donations or do you have state or federal funding or how does that, how do you get all your money for that? Treehouse is about 85% private funding. So individuals like you or me or local groups contributing to our work, and then we receive about 15% of our money through state funding. Wow. That's that's a, that's a good. I mean, that's a lot, though. Is it is it pretty hard to keep that um, fundraising up when it's mostly from private parties? You know, mm. we are really lucky to have a lot of generous supporters in the community that think of us yeah. throughout the year, and we are dependent on that. So it definitely helps when people, you know, get involved through volunteering or they sign up to host a drive to collect, you know, clothing, school supplies or toys for us, or they donate online on our website. So there's lots of ways to get involved and help us out so that we can set these kids up for success. That's awesome. How long have you guys been around? I don't think that we asked that in the beginning. How long has Treehouse been? Well, you know, we've got a big anniversary coming up next year. Next year is going to be our 30th anniversary. Oh, my so goodness. We've been wow. around for a little bit, and uh, we hope to be around a lot longer. That's yeah, awesome. I hope so, too. <laughs> uh, what about, so you talked about, um, you know, graduation success rate, um, and you have another program around that. Mm-hmm. So can you touch on that as well? Yes. So our other academic program is called Education Advocacy, and so we've got, uh, you know, a little over a dozen, you know, highly trained uh, staff located throughout the state. And they work really hard to partner with local schools and DSHS offices to kind of help bridge that connection between the families that the kids are being supported by and the other key uh, members of their network. Yep. Awesome. So you recently did a um, major makeover. 
Tell us about that. We sure did. So we moved into the building we're currently at for the warehouse um, back in 2003. And as much as we loved our space, it was starting to get a little outdated. And we really wanted to do some, you know, updates to the space to make sure that it was safe, functional, and also teen-centric because we're serving more and more teens. Mm. And so we did everything from new paint to new retail fixtures to new flooring we just really spruced it up and had some uh, awesome partners at AGC that helped us with that work and some Nordstrom designers that helped us just make it look the best it could be. Oh, wow, that's cool. Yeah. They I feel bet. they feel cool going in there and shopping like they're at a store, a department store. Exactly. Right? Yeah, that's what we want. Bring your friends, come make it a memorable experience. Absolutely. Right. Okay, so well, we... Really appreciate you being on and telling us about, um, you know, all your programs. But we also really want to hear from Ignacio and telling us, you know, because you're like a success story of Treehouse. So can you tell us how you first got, you know, got involved with the with Treehouse? Oh, well, hello. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Welcome. Said hello yet. Yes. <laughs> um, well, it started um, mostly when I was in high school uh-huh. um, because it was like a few minutes uh, a walk um, to the building from my high school okay and so they had a um, a learning center where I just go to um, get my homework done and um, yeah that's that's where I get a lot of the resources like um, uh, having a, a place or um, I mean just getting like a service hours for school okay and that's where i guess i got involved mostly right and, it was like a safe comfortable place to go and and do your homework and right right well that's great and so um now you volunteer there or help at treehouse right i do what do you do now um i'm at the warehouse and uh -huh. um i just uh i'm part of the background now <laughs> what i mean by that is uh when you're in when you're in the foster care system and, and at Treehouse, when you're there, I, you don't really know that all this other stuff is happening until uh -huh. you get um, involved. And um, it's it's pretty great to uh, kind of contribute back and have this uh, have. It's like a full circle, right? Yeah. Like mm -hmm. you're, you see it from both sides. You are right. there receiving the support and services, and now you're on the other side giving support and exactly, services. Yeah. yeah. That's what I was trying to say. Yeah. I would think that would be really, I mean, do you feel like you have uh, like a connection to the kids that are coming in there? I mean, do you have a chance to like build a kind of relationship with the kids or is it? Um, I don't really see the kids there. I just no. like do the uh, like stock up clothing and all the um, stuff that you don't see when you're a kid. But, I see. But, yeah. But you do see like, oh. There's, all these clothes are like stocked up. Mm -hmm. Why is it important to you to to do this? Um, like I said, uh, it's like uh, it's very rewarding um, when you when you do it. Uh, and I don't know, why why not have a um, Why not help? Um, Why not give yeah. back? Right. Right. Um, I don't know how to put it. That's okay. Well, <laughs> you know, we're we're just. I mean, it's really amazing that you're here. We're really excited to have you in studio, and because you know you've gone full circle. You were in foster care. And now you're helping kids in foster care, and then and what else are you doing now? Because you recently joined AmeriCorps. Right. Right. So where will you be stationed? What will you be doing there? Um, I have a training in Baltimore. Oh wow! I've never been in the east, or never lived in the East Coast before, um, but I'll be doing a lot of like um, helping rebuild after natural disasters and other little service projects like that. Um, and yeah, just wanting to um, build up on like independent living and just have skills that um, like construction skills and stuff like that. Right. Would, yeah. That yeah. would help me with jobs or something. I'm sure that you're going to learn so much, and it's yeah. going to help you in every other aspect of your life, too. So you, when you leave pretty soon, right? Right. I leave on Wednesday. Oh, my gosh. So pretty, pretty 
pretty soon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. And so you're going to Baltimore, and I think you said it's for, is it a year? Do you stay there for a year, or do you go other places? That's just it's, training. Uh, it's training in Baltimore, but I'll be moving around, like, the East Coast area. So, like, places in, like, Maine or New York or just that general area. That general area. Yeah, okay. it's just the, headqu- the headquarters that's there. Mm-hmm. Wow, so you're going to be traveling a lot. Have you traveled yeah. at all before? Um, I haven't done too much traveling. Yeah. I spent most of my time here in Washington. So it's pretty exciting. <laughs> so, yeah, lots of new new things, adventure. Yeah. Uh, it sounds like you really like to give back because you're volunteering and now mm-hmm. you joined AmeriCorps. You just have like a giving heart and you're, you know, because that's pretty amazing to do mm-hmm. something like that. And you're moving somewhere you don't know anybody It's going to be an amazing experience. Very rewarding. Yeah. Now, I was going to ask, do you know anybody else that you're doing this with, or are you just going out there by yourself? It's just me going out there and creating my own memories. There you go. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for coming in Mm -hmm. and sharing with us about, um, you know, your story and giving back. Can you tell us um, a little bit about, um, Nicole, just about giving what listeners can do and how they can give back for the back to school where they can donate. Absolutely. So listeners uh, can go online to our website. We've got some great tools, some great ways to sign up for volunteer shifts, whether it's as a group or as an individual, our website's treehouseforkids.org. They can also get connected uh, to be a drive host. Uh, They can collect items at their workplace or with their friends and their family. And there's some exciting ways to get involved on there. So That's if you're awesome. listening and you're in an office, you mm-hmm. know, go ahead and reach out to Treehouse. You can just put a bin up and put a list of, list of items that you guys are looking for. Right? You can also come by Caliber Home Loans yes. in Kirkland, Washington, uh, 11255 Kirkland Way. We are going to be sponsoring Treehouse for our um, quarterly charity um, sponsorship, and we're going to be collecting all of these items for them. So yeah. if you want to drop something off at our office, we'd be happy to take it there as well. Yeah, we're going to have all the information on our events tab um, on the website. So feel free to, you know, look us up and come by. There'll just be a big bin in the lobby and you can drop off items that will be given to Treehouse here in August for the kids. Yep. Get ready for back to school. That's so important for that they have the things that they need to be successful. So we're really excited to participate in that. We are. Yeah, going to school is scary enough, but going there, you know, not feeling confident is probably the worst. So we want to try and negate that. So thank you guys so much for coming on. Yeah, thank you both. It's been been great meeting you. And uh, thank you for tuning in to Financial Fitness Northwest. When we come back from the break, we will be discussing market trends, where rates are headed, and why now is the right time to buy. To find out more about any topics discussed on today's show, you can find us online at www.financialfitnessnw.com.